Hello, welcome back to Animated Literacy. This is lesson number 12 from the Story, Song, and Action book where we will be learning about Felix Fox and Max the Ox and the, their sound for the sound of X and their song and gesture. So before we do that, we're going to go back to doing some reviewing. So if you remember, Mimi Mermaid has her magic mop. She's moving it back and forth like this and going, mm, and when she sings, are you sleeping, it sounds this way. Are you moving a magic mop? Are you moving a magic mop? Me, me, mermaid. Me, me, mermaid. Mimi's bells are saying. Mimi's bells are saying. Ming, mong, ming. Ming, mong, ming. And here is baby Barnaby. Remember when everybody's clapping for him because he played the banjo so well, he's going to bow to his audience. So put one hand across your stomach like this and one behind your back and go B as you're bowing. Are you bowing? Are you bowing? Baby Barnaby, baby Barnaby. Barnaby's bells are saying, Barnaby's bells are saying, bing bong, bing. Bing bong bing. Now we started adding some other sounds to play with. So after we sang about our bells, we sang about our pups. And so now we can put our pups into our song. And here's Rat Rosie Raccoon, and we'll do a verse for Rosie and her pups. So Rosie is riding Rhino Ralph in the rodeo. She's roping, or you can rope and ride at the same time. Are you roping and riding? Are you roping and riding? Rosie Raccoon, Rosie Raccoon. Rosie's pups are saying, Rosie's pups are saying, Rark, 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 rark. And here was Sadie Seal, and she's surfing. So you can either surf on a surfboard, you could body surf like this, you can surf and swim in front of the wave like this while you're doing that. And so let's do her pups. Are you surfing? Are you surfing? Sadie Seal, Sadie Seal. Sadie's pups are saying, Sadie's pups are saying, Sark, 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 Sark. Now in, in our last lesson, we learned another song for playing with sounds that was about Little Puppy. And today we're going to add another character here. So let's start with our puppy and then we'll add a new sound after we've done our puppy. And so this song went like this and you can sing it back to me again. Little puppy, he goes bark, bark, bark. Little puppy, he goes bark, bark, bark. Now show me tickling for Timmy Tiger. Timmy's puppy, he goes tark, tark, tark. Timmy's puppy, he goes tark, tark, tark. Now, if we did a pup for Lizzie Lamb, remember Lizzie Lamb is laying her head on lemon leaves while she's taking her nap, and her sound goes lol. So her verse for the pup would sound like this. Little puppy, he goes bark, bark, bark. Little pup, he goes bark, bark, bark. Lizzie's puppy, she goes lark, lark, lark. Lizzie's puppy, she goes lark, lark, lark. Now, we learned a letter that has kind of something special about it when we were doing Skip to My Lou. So this was our letter X. And remember we talked about letter X, that it cannot make it sound at the beginning of a word. It can only make it sound at the end of a word. So instead of changing the first sound in Ding Dong Ding, we're going to change the last sound. So instead of ing, ong, ing, we're going to put the X after the I sound. And here's, here's our I sound for Ichabod Ichthyosaurus itching. And it'll be Ix, ox, Ix instead of ing, ong, ing. Now if we put some of our other characters in front of it, if Timmy Tiger is using the Ix and the ox, it's going to sound like a clock. It's going to go ticks, talks, ticks. Can you do that? Ticks, talks, ticks. But if Lizzie Lamb is doing it, here she is laying on her lemon leaves. And if we put ix and ox after Lizzie's, it's going to go licks, locks, licks, licks, locks, licks.
Now it's kind of like a puppy who's always wanting to lick you. If we put Rosie Raccoon there, she's riding, and if we put her in front of Ix and Ox, it's going to be Rix Rocks. Rix, Rix Rocks, Rix. Okay. So now we're going to learn something new today. So we're going to be learning about a new character. Now anytime we learn something new, what do we have to start with? We have to start by talking about what we already know. Why must we do that? Because if you're going to remember the new information, you have to glue it to the old stuff that's already inside your head. So we're going to talk about some things that you probably already know something about. What am I holding up here? These are pieces of what? Pieces of wood. This happens to be redwood, which comes from some of the tallest trees in the world and can last longer than a lot of other kinds of wood. And this is pine, and so you can see it's much lighter in color, and it comes from a pine tree. And here's some very dark wood that comes from a walnut tree. Now, this walnut came from a friend of mine who uses wood to build banjos. And so I have one of his banjos that I play sometimes. And wood can be used for many different kinds of things. So I want you to think about some things that you know of that might be made out of wood. Maybe the tables in your house are made out of wood. Maybe chairs. Maybe you have some old-fashioned toys that are made out of wood. In the olden days, we didn't have all the plastic and things that toys are made out of today. So people used to make their own wooden toys. Um, where does wood come from? Wood has to come from trees, doesn't it? And now here's a picture of uh, what I think is a redwood tree. And you can see this is really a giant tree. Now trees are very important to us because when we breathe, we breathe in oxygen. And that oxygen goes into our lungs and then it travels around our body. And without oxygen, we would not be able to live. So we breathe in oxygen, and when we breathe out, we've used up the oxygen, so we breathe out what's called carbon dioxide. Now our trees are important because they do just the opposite of what we do. The trees take in the carbon dioxide that we breathe out, and they breathe out oxygen. So the trees are creating oxygen for us to be able to, to breathe. And if we didn't have lots of trees on earth, we might not be able to breathe and be able to survive. But we also use trees for making things. What is something else that we make with trees? Our houses are often made out of trees. So after those trees have been cut down, and oftentimes they used to be cut down with an ax like this, um, they, we have to plant new trees. So here's another Skybrary book that talks about all of the different ways that even without knowing it, many animals are constantly planting trees. And human beings, after they've cut down trees, will plant more trees so that they can grow up. And the cycle keeps repeating of the trees giving us wood and giving us oxygen and then after the trees have been cut down we need to plant more trees and take care of them so that they can grow up to be cut down again so that pattern keeps repeating so here's our houses that are made out of trees and this is one of my favorite books about a house because it talks about the different kinds of houses that different sorts of animals live in and i also like it because I could make it into a song. So when I read this book, I often read it as a song. So I'm gonna sing it that way, and I want you to sing it back to me. A hill is a house for an ant, an ant. A hill is a house for an ant, an ant. A hive is a house for a bee. A hive is a house for a bee. A hole is a house for a mole or a mouse. A hole is a house for a mole or a mouse. And a house is a house for me. And a house is a house for me. A coop, that's a house for a chicken. A coop, that's a house for a chicken. A sty, that's a house for a sow. And that's another name for a pig. A, a sty, that's a house for a sow. A fold, that's a house where sheep gather to sleep. A fold, that's a house where sheep gather to sleep. A barn, that's a house for a cow. So this, if you read that whole book, you'll learn about all different kinds of houses. Now our next 
part we're going to talk about is a, what's called a lumberjack. And a lumberjack is somebody who cuts trees. And the name of this lumberjack is Paul Bunyan. And this is a Skybridge book again. But there's a lot of different books about Paul Bunyan. He's very famous. But there was never really a Paul Bunyan. He's make-believe. And he's part of what's called a tall tale. And the reason they're called tall tales is because every time someone tells this story, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and taller and taller and taller and more impossible for anyone to believe. So that's why it's called a tall tale because of how it keeps continuing to grow taller and taller. And to show you just how tall this tale is, here's a picture of Paul Bunyan from the book. And you can see here, he's so tall, he steps right over the top of houses. And here's a picture of Paul Bunyan, and you can see how tall he is next to the trees. He makes them look very little. And so here he is chopping the trees, and when he's done chopping the trees, they need to be hauled to the mill where it's made into lumber, and then that lumber can be made into houses and furniture and all sorts of things. So sometimes Paul needs help hauling that lumber. And so to help him is his blue ox named Babe. And so after Paul has chopped the wood, Babe can haul that wood to where it can be milled. And here's a picture of another book called Ox Cart Man. And oxen are often used to, to um, pull carts that carry things. And so Babe pulls the logs along. And here's a picture of, of this cart. And here's the ox cart man who uses the ox to haul things. Something else we're going to talk about are, is wax. What in this picture is made out of wax? Here's the candles on a birthday cake made out of wax. And how many of you, when you have a birthday cake, they light the candles and, and the candles will start to drip. And so you blow out the candles and you make a wish. Or here's another um, candle. And this one's in a jar so that when you light the candle with the wick, um, the candle wax can melt and be held inside the jar. So wax is going to be another part of our story. Another part of our story has to do with friends. And this is a book by Margaret Wilde. And the title of this book is The Very Best of Friends. So I want you to think about somebody who is a friend of yours and what kinds of things that you like to do with your friend. And is your friend the same size as you? Is your friend maybe a pet that's much smaller than you? Or is your friend somebody who is much bigger than you? Here's another book about friends. And this is where one friend is little and one friend is big. And one friend is a lion who is big and ferocious. And the other friend is a little tiny mouse. And so if you read this story about the lion and the mouse, you'll learn how they became friends. And in our story, we're going to have someone who, like the lion, is much bigger than the other friend who is a small fox. So this is Max the Ox. Can you say that after me? Max the Ox. And this is Felix Fox. Who is he? Felix Fox. Now these two friends were such good friends that they decided they wanted to have a place where they could live together. And so they went hunting for something that they could make into a house. Well, as they traveled about, they found a box car. Now, here's a box. And what is our box made out of? It's also made out of cardboard that comes from wood. And there is a car that travels and is pulled by a train that is called a box car because it looks very much like a box. Well, this box car was traveling on a train on its way to Texas. It was carrying lots of wax for people to make candles from when a big storm came up and it blew the boxcar right off of the train tracks. And so when Felix and Max came upon that car, they thought, wow, that would be just a really special place for us to make into a home. And then as they climbed into the boxcar, they discovered there were all these big chunks of wax and there was an ax. Now this ax is a play ax, so it can't hurt me. It's, it's, it's made out of foam rubber. Um, so this is an axe you could play with, but you would never play with a real axe because a real axe could hurt you, it's sharp, and, and, it, and it could be very dangerous. 
So they took that ax and they started using it to chop the wax and they made that wax into tables and chairs and couches and places where they could sit down and relax. But then they discovered that Felix and Max had something very different that they liked to do when they relaxed. Felix Fox liked to relax by playing his horn and you can see this horn goes down and loops back up and it's called a sax and some saxophones are really big and some saxophones are quite little. So this one was just the right size for Felix Fox and he liked to relax by playing tunes on his sax. But Max the Ox liked to relax by boxing. But a great big ox cannot box with a little fox. And Max would never hit another living creature anyway. So now the two had to find something for Max to box so he could relax. So what they discovered was when they moved into the box car, they had brought with them some backpacks and, they had, and some sacks. And inside of the sacks and the packs that they brought to the box car, they carried all of their clothes. And so they had some shirts in the sacks and they had some slacks and slacks are just fancy pants. And they had some socks. Well, when Felix looked at those socks, he thought, I could make something out of those socks for Max to box. And so he took out his socks and he put them together like this and he started stuffing the bottom of the socks into the top of the socks and as he kept stuffing these pieces in together eventually he could roll them up so that he could make little tiny balls with the socks. Now the socks are in the shape of a ball but they're really soft so Felix could throw the socks up into the air and Max could box the socks and not hurt his hand and not hurt anyone else either. So Max kept boxing the socks that Felix threw up in the air until finally he got so tired of back boxing socks that he sat down to relax. And as he relaxed, they both read some books together and then Felix went back to playing tunes on his sax. So whenever you see our picture of Felix Fox and Max the Ox, I want you to think about how they like to relax Put your hands up in the air like this, drop your hands down and let your air out and go for relax. Now if we put that back into our song, we could have mix, mox, mix, fix, fox, fix, licks, locks, licks. Or we could sing a whole song about Felix Fox and Max the Ox. So let me teach you their song and warm up your muscles so that you can sing it after me and copy my gestures. So first we're going to relax, so put your hands up in the air and sing this back to me. Felix wanted to relax. Felix wanted to relax with Max. So we're going to make Max's horns. The ox with Max. The ox. But the ox wanted to box. Now we're going to go like this because a box because an ox can't box with a fox. But the ox wanted to box. Now we're going to lift a big heavy box in their box of wax, in their box of wax. Now we're going to make our X by crossing our arms diagonally like this and like this. So not straight up and down, but diagonally instead. Felix ends with X. Felix ends with X. Now make your horns. So does Max the ox. So does Max the ox. The fox wanted to relax with Max. The fox wanted to relax with Max. But the ox wanted to box. But the ox wanted to box. Let's do it once more so we can get all those gestures learned. Ready? Felix wanted to relax. Felix wanted to relax with Max. The ox. But the ox wanted to box, but the ox wanted to box in their box of wax. Felix ends with X. Felix ends with X. So does Max the ox. So does Max the ox. 
The fox wanted to relax with Max. The fox wanted to relax with Max. But the ox wanted to box. But the ox wanted to box. Now let's try that with our recording. And this time, instead of me gesturing, I'm going to point to the words, but I want you to sing the songs and see if you can remember all the gestures that we just did. So let's start by putting your hands up in the air and getting ready to relax. Felix wanted to relax with Max the ox, but the ox wanted to box in their box of wax. Felix ends with X, so does Max the ox. The fox wanted to relax with Max, but the ox wanted to box. What's our sound for Felix and Max? Now when you get your paper of Felix and Max, I want you to first take out your crayons and rainbow write over that letter X. So, so trace it several times, once with each color of crayon that you have. And then I want you to turn your page over on the back. And I want you to think about something in our story about Felix and Max that is like your life story. So you could draw me a picture or you could write me a sentence or a story about a friend and name your friend, draw me a picture of your friend and tell me something that you like to do with your friend. Or if you're not ready to write yet, um, you can draw your picture and you can tell me about your picture and I'll write about it. But pretty soon you'll be doing a lot of your own writing. Um, or you could tell me about a special birthday wish you had when you blew out the wax candles and if that birthday wish came true. Or you could tell me about something that is made out of wood that is your favorite wooden item. It could be a table, a chair, it might be an old-fashioned toy because they used to make toy cars and all kinds of things out of wood and they still do some but a lot of your toys today are made out of plastic. Or you could draw me a picture of your house and tell me about your house and then I'll come and you can either read to me what you've written or you can tell me about your picture and I'll write something down. So thank you very much for joining me for the story of Felix Fox and Max the Ox and I will look forward to seeing you in our next lesson.